Hello everyone, I am Naval Yamul. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Data Master. In this playlist, I am going to talk about the latest features that are coming around the Databricks. So one of the new feature is you can use a serverless for the notebooks. Yeah, so till now we were using only all-purpose compute for our notebooks, but now in the Databricks notebooks even you can use a serverless compute so let me show you it's still in the public preview but i have just implemented it i would like to show you how it works so when it comes to databricks compute we have majorly all purpose compute job compute all purpose is used for interactive collaborative environment job compute is used for automation so if you want to automate your task we go for the job compute and then we have a SQL so warehouses where you can get a type called serverless, pro or classic. So I have already created a serverless here and my warehouse name is data master SQL warehouse. So I'll just start this. So all the infrastructure is taken care by the Databricks and it takes only four to five seconds to spin. So I have started it and you can see here now your warehouse has started. So all purpose cluster will take almost three to four minutes or in case it might take more than that to just spin it. Now it's already started. So let me go back to my workspace. I have one notebook created that is called SQL warehouses in notebook. And now you can see here you can attach your notebook to your SQL warehouse. So till now we used we used to connect only to our all purpose computes on the notebook. But now you can connect to your SQL warehouses. And then you can easily start querying it. So I have few tables here in my catalog. So I have a gold table called Amazon's gold. So let me just take this and let me start querying it. Select start from your table name. So now you don't need to wait for a long time to your all purpose cluster to run you can see here with a warehouse you can run it in the notebook so this is an amazing thing guys you can see this you got your results now and you can do your query performance here you can check on this so you'll find out how your query is performing you get a complete query profile the way we used to get in our databricks sql so you can see this how much seconds it took how much uh, how the aggregation task time and all those things if you click on query profile you will get to know a detailed graph. So for this, we do not have any query profile, but you get a detailed graph how your query was performed. Beautiful. So not only you can use a SQL warehouses in the notebook, but even you can use it in your workflows. So let me show you that. So just go to the workflow and I'll just click on create a new job. In the task tab, if you, okay, if you, Keep on selecting the task and all the details here. You get an option to choose the cluster. So if I just click on it, you can see even now you can run your jobs using the SQL warehouse. Amazing guys. This is really an amazing. So using a serverless compute, you can even run your jobs and even you can run your notebooks. That is our latest feature coming in the Databricks. Thank you for watching this video guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.